Hey guys, this is all streamed out. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the first episode in uh, NBA 2K24, my career on PS4 or PS5 actually. So uh, we are next gen. Uh, we should be getting the story and everything. So uh, let's go ahead and um, we're going to make a point guard. We're going to do it the same way we did on PC. So here we go. Okay, so we're starting our NBA career. Um, so. Go to the arena. Okay. So that's what we need to do. So we're interested in the career, and that's all we're really interested in. And looks like it's right up these steps. Okay, here we go. Uh, you're about to enter the arena where, you, where you'll play your first NBA game and expectations can be higher. Not only did your father and grandfather play in the league, but you're considered a generational talent. Play through an entire NBA career using our new key games feature to become the next GOAT, break records, and ball out to earn GOAT points, earn enough GOAT points, and you'll establish yourself as the best to ever do it. Okay. It wouldn't let me go in. There we go. Apparently you can't be right up next to the door. see his son playing his first NBA game. I know I shouldn't be focused on this, but I still can't believe that Grandpa's not here right now. It just doesn't feel right. It's okay to feel that way. I miss him too, but, you know, Grandpa would kick you behind if he knew you let him distract you like that. <laughs> you gotta put that on the back burner, huh? Yeah, you're right. Now listen to me. There are gonna be a lot of people in here tonight. But you and I both know what you've been working toward all these years. Greatness. I don't care about the hype. Most of the people talking, they don't even believe what they say half the time. But me and you believe. Man, what do we believe? I could be one of the best players to ever play this game. Yes, sir. That starts tonight. Uh, make your NBA date. Make your NBA debut as most highly touted prospect since LeBron James. Optional, MJ had 16, 6, 7, 2, 4 in his debut, earned 36 points, rebound assists, steals, and blocks combined to beat his total. Uh, LeBron, uh, okay, so earned 45 total combined to beat that. Okay, so 45 is the goal. Okay, let's play next game. Okay, 
Okay, we don't need that. Shoe wrap. Okay. Hey, MP, what's, hey, up? what's up? Check out these free kicks that we're hooking you up with. Uh, well, we're going for Adidas. Uh, $2,000 if we're named Rookie of the Year. Uh, Adidas Billboard Campaign and Encore Adidas Shoes. Okay, Adidas is excited for your partnership to continue to grow in the NBA. A selection of on-court sho on shoes has been added to your closet. Okay. On behalf of Adidas, I'd just like to wish you good luck in your first NBA game. Not that you need it or anything. <laughs> We're all real excited to see what you do out there. Okay. For this since I was six years old, so I'm ready. Okay, so that's why they say what they say about you, huh? Can't miss a legend at 19, the next goat. <laughs> yep, keep going. <laughs> Look, just don't try to prove it all at once, right? Look, you got the all NBA upside clearly, so you only need to show flashes right now. Coach, I'm trying to show my full potential. That's the competitor's mentality, and I get that, but just remember that. It's a long process, MP. As long as you tap into what makes you great, we're all good. No one is expecting a fully formed MVP on day one. Loud and clear, coach. Great. So, go out there and have a little fun. Hey, you know I will. Okay. Put your general, your generational talent on full display by shifting into GOAT mode, okay? Achieve in-game goals to temporarily activate significant attribute boosts, okay. They allow you to show flashes of your true potential. Uh, the more you activate GOAT mode, the more powerful skills you will unlock. New bonuses become available with each tier you advance. Blow past your attribute and physical limits at the highest tiers to leave a lasting mark on the NBA. And a trick book. Okay. Um. Long Ranger. And uh, let's go with. I think I know what we're going to do. Yeah. Um, total of three shots made and assists from pick and rolls. Okay. There we go. So let's go to our locker. Okay, so we can't do that. Shorts length. Um, we'll go short. Okay. And shoes. Um, So we have, wow, we have a bunch of shoes from Adidas. Uh, we have, looks like these are, okay, those are roses. We don't want rose. We want some dames. Do some daymates. Okay. 
Okay. We are ready, I guess. Okay, complete prepare for your NBA for your NBA debut and then the other objectives as well. Okay. So here we go. Our first NBA game. And after this, we should get a little bit of a story, I would hope. Okay, we are starting. At the table with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Our reporter is Ali LaForce. We've got new rosters, fresh starts, and a lot of hope, which means it's time to tip off the NBA season, Brent. Thankfully, we got through the off-season storylines, the preseason, and all the predictions out there. It's not about that stuff. It's about the play. So let's get it started. And let's take a look at Boston's okay. starting lineup. White and Brown are the two and the three. Kristaps Porzingis out That's there. That's not bad. Um, MP in at the point guard. So they're scoring. Tonight, the first game of MP's career. A lot of eyes watching to see how his journey began. And looks like a foul. I believe that MP is the next face of the NBA. I mean, he comes from a long line of NBA talent. Father Prince and Grandfather Truck both had strong careers. Oh. One of the most anticipated well, he missed the first. And although Randall can run an offense, he looks so much more comfortable as a finisher, Brent. Yeah, they're a nice okay, and he made the second. Primary ball handler that you want to attack and be that bowling ball to make things happen. But when he plays off the ball and he's finishing around the basket, he's incredibly difficult to stop. Oh. Quickly passes to Randall. Okay. Well, we're down by one. Great effort there up and athletic and at the rim. Then we're about a minute into the first. MP against quickly. And he lobs it. Oh, okay. Oh, we're not going to try those anymore. Quickly outside. 14 feet away. Another shot. Okay. So lobs are not going to be part of our game. Didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Brown. Oh, come on. But he couldn't finish. The Knicks have gone just two for four from the floor. Pass to Hartenstein. And here is Barrett. Just five to shoot on the take. Bank okay. And RJ can play where he's mixing up speeds, but is also in control of himself. This is the kind of stuff you get from him. Here's Tatum. Back to MP. Can they get it? That shot off the mark. Wow. We thought he was going to bury that one. Outside for three, Boston with a rebound. Grant, there is some magic here in New York. One there we go. Good assist. Well, BA, you have to think about the history of this building. It's incredible. I mean, when the Knicks are playing even remotely well, this place is rocking. Tatum against Randall. Pass to DiVincenzo. Randall outside. Let's go with a three. Porzingis grabs the board. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Two minutes remaining. Out to the wing. It's oh, come on. Now here's quickly. 146 left in the first quarter of the game. Six to shoot. For three, Randall. Randall with another miss. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be oh. Work on the playmaking skills. Inside, here's Hardenstein. Porzingis grabs the board. 
Porzingis has got four rebounds in the game. Brandon Are you the serious? Shoots over Tatum. It's good. Okay. Only a few seconds into We're down by five. Okay, and 4.07 to go in the second quarter. We come back in. And we're now about a minute into the second quarter of play. Okay. Good foul. And Cornette will miss the first. Uh, we are down by four. Things are being called out by players. Defense BA is pretty much everything. You're trying to read We're the down by three. Calls. Try to hear the call of the play coming. Try to yell out to your teammates so predictably they know what movements are happening. And then within engagement of that play, you're calling your switches, you're calling where your help is, and that should happen 75 times a night. So by the end of the night, the wow. communicates the most. Okay. Ends up winning the game. And the forward spots, it's DiVincenzo and Randall. Emmanuel quickly is out there with Jalen Brunson and it's Sims in at the center position. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Oh, that's our first shot and we missed. Defender keeping those hands and feet active. Quickly passes to Brunson. Here's Sims. Back to Brunson. And he lobs it up top. Wow. Defense disorganized. Okay. One guy who's surprisingly physical at the offensive end, Jalen Brunson. Fundamentals, B.A., around Jalen Brunson's footwork are things that players, young players today, need to study. Incredibly efficient and very dangerous when he gets it going offensively. And we're going courtside for a report on MP. Hey, Brian, MP is one of the most highly regarded prospects of all time. All right, come on. is huge. Basketball fans across the globe are tuning in to see the debut of MP. On the NBA stage, we'll have to put on a show to live up to the hype. That's even possible at this point, guys. Yeah, he's looking to make a splash, isn't he? Thanks, Allie. And the foul yep. called on MP. That's his first foul. Hartenstein, he's checked in for New York. Substitution on the court. So one thing I'm noticing is on occasion, my, uh, R2 button, there's resistance. They get it back. And it's Randall with the jam. Somebody not alert. So I'm thinking that's something to do with uh, with the game because I noticed when I was setting up that it uh, had a software update for the controller. There we go. Strong move, Tatum. Nice feed from MP. Head on the swivel. The Knicks have gotten five of seven shots to go in the second. Quickly outside. Pass to Randall. Now here's Brunson, covered by MP. Come on. Brunson against MP. Fires from deep. Brunson misses. Boston has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And Grant, the news for the Celtics over the summer, moved on from Smart in order to acquire Porzingis. Yeah, the team Get in there. Okay, we need one more. Okay. The Celtics also with a sub. Horford, he's Down by six. Minute 18 to go in the first half. Get in there. Can't connect from short range. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. DiVincenzo finds Barrett. Got a piece of it. Got it. Going by MP. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. And Grant, there's so much hype around MP. Coming into the NBA with a big time shoe deal. 
and Adidas, a okay. player for a long time. They're highlighting MP as the fresh face of their next era in basketball. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to White. Oh. Down low. Hardenstein passes to Barrett. to Hartenstein. No good with a layup. He's as All right. as we are. Well, we're down at the half. And so it was some points. Yeah, okay, so we are right now, down by really Ken. Comfortable while he's doing. Kick it off the second half. Here's Joe Mazula's five. White and Brown with the two. Well, we didn't get that one. Tatum out there with Kristaps Porzingis. And it's MP in at the one. Randall pass to Barrett. To the inside. Kicks oh. Oh. Launches it. Gets the three yep, that was my fault. 110% that was my fault. So shooting from long distance, not a problem. To the paint. Let's it fly. There we go. Flash of brilliance. And granted a deal that came down to the wire this summer. The Celtics got their man. Chris stops Porzingis. Oh yes, they did, BA. As tough as it was to give up Marcus. And that is a foul. I believe that is my second. A two-way tower in his prime. Outside Barrett. There's the drive. Yeah, with his length and athleticism, Tatum has the tools to be a lockdown defender. Okay, well, we get to shoot free throws. When the Knicks are good, Brent, it seems like they have that gritty defense first mentality. There's our first NBA point. Those finals teams were so great defensively for the New York Knicks. Kind of taking that face attitude and bringing it to the court to rough it Let's go. Good recent Nick teams have had that behind their coaching staff and it's gotten them back in the right place. Quickly outside. With the floater. The rebound by Jason Tatum. And Tatum's got the ball here for the Boston Celtics. Nine point game. Here's Porzingis. Okay. Okay. That'll work. It'll be three points. Down by seven. Down by six. Can defend inside and causes some problems with his length. Makes smart passes because he knows the league and he knows the tendencies. This guy is very skilled and is getting better. And to the sidelines we go. Let's catch you up on the story about MP. Thank you, BA. Well, if you were curious just how hyped the NBA world is for MP's debut, just look at that crowd. Celebrities from all over our in attendance. Here we go. Father, former player Prince, and those set of eyes are probably putting the most pressure on MP to perform, guys. Really? Big names out there, right? Thanks, Allie. With the seven footer, Jalen Brown with a rebound. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? And he's going for the oop here. Wow, we haven't been able to get a single one of those quickly from outside. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Okay. Quickly's got six in the quarter. Since going in the 2020 first round, quickly has gotten a lot more selective. That is horrible. Shot making. A sign of maturity. Pass to Randall. The three ball. It's hauled in by White. Boston trailing. To the middle. Oh, look. There we go. I've got nine turnovers. That dunk looks so easy. For New York, they've gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. DiVincenzo against White. Shoots from 12. Kicks it to Corey. No. Jacks up a three. 
Rebounded by the Celtics. Porzingis has got rebound number eight now. Inside. Here's Get in there. Thank you. MP. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. New York is only down by five. Minute and a half to go in the third. Randall, the pass to Barrett. Second shot opportunity. And that one's good. Barrett's got six. Well, the hustle from RJ on the offensive end was tremendous. Jacobson, pass to Tatum. Back to MP. Takes the three. That ain't gonna go. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. And following this one, they'll take on the Hawks in Atlanta. That's the first of a three-game trip out on the road for them. Okay. Athens, it'll go to the Celtics. Sims, he's checked in for New York. Hart comes in for Randall. And, wow, we're still in the game. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Horford, a screen on Barrett. Brown with it. Hard covering. Okay. KB, nice finish inside. Boy, absolutely. Down by five. Protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets. And that's our third foul. That's his third foul of the game. Okay, four minutes and ten seconds to go in the game. Here's MP. Wow. That one's no good. Practically a block. <laughs> good, strong challenge. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Randall and Hartenstein together down low. Then it's Josh Hart. Then there's Jalen Brunson. And it's Grimes in at the two spot. So okay. Who's on the floor for the Knicks? The athletic swing man. Go ahead and take it. Tatum goes up with force off the drive. And, so and we're tied. To Randall. And the foul wow. That'll get him his okay. Foul. That's four fouls for him tonight. He needs to pick his battles wisely going forward. About a minute and a half into the fourth now. And for the Celtics, Grant, when it comes to something like rebounding. Decent foul, I guess. Well, it's part of their personnel strategy, B.A. Get wings and cards that have length and toughness, which allows them to control the glass and switch just about everything defensively. When talking about the Celtics, you'd have to say they have a unique one-two punch, Grant. Yeah, I mean, think about it, B.A. To have Tatum on one wing and Brown on the other, that's a potent Wow. I need a quicker shot, just a little bit. So we'll be looking... For the for that better shot. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. To the left wing. Fires for three. How oh, nice shot by Grimes. Three minutes to go. We're down by five. And he's on the board for three. Well, they've been fantastic tonight, really enforcing giveaways and getting scores on the other end. I mean, you get a few more possessions like that, your confidence grows, and you win that turnover battle. Here's Jacobson. Nope, I tried. Quickly, the Knicks have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Outside Barrett, pass to quickly. Divincenzo on the wing. Outside Barrett. Not my guy. The rebound, Celtics. Down low. There we go. It naturally looks for Jason Tatum, and he typically comes through. Randall passed it quickly. Doesn't go that time. Nice D from Brown. And so MP will bring it up for the Celtics. They trail by three. Here's Porzingis. He's off on the layup. New York has gone one for three. Okay. I couldn't do anything with him. And the coaching staff enjoying that as Randall is becoming a bit more of a facilitator. MP 
against quickly. Tatum a screen on quickly. Here's MP. Missed inside. Wow. The Knicks have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Hartenstein. Quickly with the ball. Covered by MP. Back to Hartenstein. And the call will be against Derek White. Okay. That's his first foul. Three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Tatum brings a double team. The three, Barrett, connects from downtown. Yeah, we're not going to win if we... If we can't stop those, we're not going to win. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point. And finished off by Tatum. All right, well, we'll... Go for assists. Really? I had a chance to score. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Barrett against Brown. Barrett with it. And they go to the intentional foul. Okay. We're not going to win. And Randall just continuing to fight out there, whether you're looking at his career or any individual game, this guy just doesn't back down. And not a moment to lose on this possession. Time is not on their side right okay. now. Okay. Down by four. Tatum. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Julius <laughs> Randall. He gets the first, and that puts him up five. So Down by six. And it's a six-point ball game. Some padding here on the free throw line. Some good work. Here's MP. He's off on that one. Ooh, excellent D there from quickly. Okay. On MP. That'll be foul number five on him. And due to the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. Good on the first. Down by seven. seven point lead. They're just one of those guys who you can see the competitive drive. Down by eight. This game is officially lost. We take a timeout. And the classic too little, too late. The effort coming and not enough time for them to get back in it. There's 21 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Okay. And here's New York now. They're on a 14 to six run. DiVincenzo, pass to Randall. They're just gonna hold it, so we're just gonna stand here. And so it's All right, we lose by eight. Everybody, but we're gonna try to do this in an orderly fashion, all right? Uh, why don't we start uh, right over here? Lisa Sims, Daily Horn. MP, you came into the league heralded as the best player of your generation, but you really struggled tonight. Were you feeling the weight of expectations? Was it first game jitters or maybe something else? Um. Yeah, uh, there were some jitters, but that's no big deal. Everyone gets nervous from time to time. You just gotta learn how to deal with it. Bottom line, I wasn't good tonight. But it's just one game. Once I get my feet wet, I'll start making the kind of difference everyone expects me to make. Thank you. Next question. Uh, right over here. Right over here. Ina Becker hier, Sportbild monatlich. Bist du sehr enttäuscht, dass du dein erstes NBA-Spiel verloren hast? Du weißt, du hast Fans auf der ganzen Welt, die dich anfeuern. Lena Becker, Sport Monthly. Are you disappointed in losing your first NBA game, knowing that you have fans watching all around the world? I 
Um, I mean, it's always disappointing to lose, but it's just one game. And um, as far as fans watching from around the world goes, hey, I've been playing in front of global audiences for a few years now, so that's nothing new. Shouts out to Germany, though, Danke. And uh, winning is always the goal, no matter who I'm playing in front of. And losing, like I said, is always disappointing. Thank you. Uh, all right, who's next? Hey, in the back, in the back. Damian Patterson, City Free Press. What does it mean to you to be a third generation NBA player, following in the footsteps of your father Prince and grandfather Chuck? Uh, yeah, it means I have a target on my back. I had every advantage growing up, I know that. And I've got all the natural ability in the world, thanks to my genetics. When you got both those things, people want to take you down a peg. But I thrive on that. It makes me better. Thank you. Next question. Um, right up front. Parfait, merci. Beatrice Corbet, La Compétition. Votre maillot est le maillot de plus vendu en France en ce moment. Avez-vous un message pour vos fans français? Beatrice Corbet, The Competition. Your jersey is the number one selling jersey in France at the moment. Do you have any message for your French fans? Uh, oui, oui, actually. J'aime la France. Oh, très bien, vous parlez français. What did she say? And she asked if you speak French. Oh, <laughs> well, there's your answer. Listen, they told me a few days ago who'd be here, so I practiced some stuff in different languages, but unfortunately, no, I don't speak French, as you guessed it. But maybe one day, though, it's a beautiful country, beautiful people, beautiful language, and, uh, hey, merci. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Proud of you, MP. <sighs> what? They got locked down out there. What up, Tom? Oh man, one game doesn't define you. Even if you did, blow it. So now I gotta sit and watch tape with you just to show you all the stuff I did do right? Come on, Papa thought you knew ball. You see, I knew you weren't that upset. <sighs> Look, you're right. It's just one game. It's just one game. Lucky you got me here to give you some perspective. Hey, I appreciate it, Pop. You here to keep me on track? Uh huh you know what the goal is. Greatness. That's right. Oh, uh, speaking of, you know who this guy is. Yeah, what about him? He just updated his all-time GOAT list. It says that you have a chance to make it to the top someday. For real? Mm -hmm. Take a look. So with all this talk about MP being the best prospect since LeBron James and Victor Webanyama being a generational talent, it got me thinking about my all-time GOAT list. Now, if you are new to the pod, you might not know that I have a passion for ranking the legends. I've spent a massive amount of time researching their careers, and I've placed them into five tiers of greatness. You can find that list on my website, by the way. Now, I love working on my GOAT list, but these guys are so legendary that they tend to stay in the same spot year after year. So I decided to add a new tier called the Got Next tier. This tier contains some of the younger guys in the league who aren't quite GOATs yet, but who, if they continue on their current trajectories, will almost certainly be in that discussion when their careers are over. Now, you may be wondering who's in the got next here, so let's get to it. These are in order, by the way. Luka, Embiid, Tatum, Zion, Webinyama, and of course, MP. Now, a lot of you might be like, you know, I put MP behind Webinyama, but they're basically tied if, you know, as I see it. And if MP distinguishes himself early on, I'll be happy to swap him with Vic. So, let me know. What do you think? Is there anyone who should be on the Got Next tier but isn't? Is there anyone who is there but shouldn't be? Hit me up on social. We'll talk about it. These are the kind of people you want on your side if they're going to call you the ghost someday. Oh, come on, Pop. Media doesn't matter. It's all about winning games. Yeah, you're wrong. You need to understand how these people see you. I wish I would have played the game when I was your age. Look, all due respect, Pop, I'm not like you. I'm not going to make the same mistakes you did. I spent 
the best years of my career and losing situations because winning organizations didn't see me as someone who had the head screwed on time. Because you didn't know. Not at first, okay? But when I was with Dallas, they gave me a shot. Could have been sooner if I had played the game. <sighs> All right. So, you're trying to do something that nobody's ever done before. And when you do it, believe me, you will do it. There's going to be no question who the goal is. Okay. Wade into the greatest of all time discourse via Logan Bradley's tier list. Uh, we're at the very bottom of the got next. Okay. And oh. So they put Jordan ahead of LeBron, which. Eh. My thing with that, I don't think LeBron could have played when Jordan was there, and I don't think that Jordan could play today. I really don't. Ah, uh, the second tier is okay. Okay. MP went off tonight when he gets in his zone. He's unstoppable. MP had a bad game, but he... The truth. Okay. Mark Cuban. MP had a bad first game, but I wouldn't worry about MP at all. Here's why. Okay. Well, okay. Um, so, right now, we are going to uh, end today's episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is All Stream. That hit the like button if you like this type of content. It lets me know that you like this particular type of content. Would like to see more? Hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications. To be notified every time I post a video and follow me on Twitter, Discord, and on the second channel. The links are in the description below. Have a wonderful day.